in the dead in Indianapolis this weekend. You were signing for his fans, hanging out. Uh, it, was, it was a really good time. My favorite thing about Indianapolis is that the New Orleans Saints beat them cold. No, 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 it was awesome. It was awesome. It really was. Days of the dead. Fucking down. <laughs> Interesting, is it? Fucking oh, yeah, it is. So, Phil, do you have any memories of playing the Louisville area throughout your throughout your career at all? Me? Yeah. Me. This all these years and stuff. Right? Ninety-six. I was kind of busy on stuff. <laughs> Children's Tylenol. No, man, uh, this area has always been bad. Fucking fantastic. Down and super joint out of my And that's true, that's no ass kissing because you know if he sucked. I tell you. I would, I would be like, man, this place is very terrible. Now, St. Louis, man. Hey, how about them Rams? <laughs> this is just gonna be. Really, I'm sorry, man. This is just gonna be an hour of people yelling city names at us. Really? Yeah. All right. What's next? Nashville. Lawrenceburg. Yeah. Got new illegals on the way, bro. That's the scream over. It's <laughs> because of some of Phil's kick-ass music. The new Super Joint album is done. He let me listen to it. And it's a flying bird finger. It is a scour. It's going to be out. What is that? Uh, Thank you, July 15th. And uh, Super Joy, November 11th. And this is all new to me, too, so I'm trying to figure out. Are you planning on touring with the new, with the new Super Joy? I'm not Joy? doing the tour now. Bullshit. No, I'm touring. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm touring. What about Dow? That's a good question. Dow's <laughs> <laughs> good. It's a complicated pick. Very complicated question there. Trevor King, come on. Actually, uh, I think between uh, myself, Patrick Brewers, okay, yeah, yeah. and Warren. James Bauer from I yes. God. <laughs> we haven't seen much of Pepper because he's obviously been busy with COC and then, uh, you know, that's that's the freedom of yeah. rock and roll right COC's now. kick ass. Well that's it. Uh, and there you go, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, you know, it's like we're all kind of doing our own things, but we always come back together because what, what Black Sabbath trouble and the same part is bring us back together. And that's where we started from, you know what I'm saying? You know, Fuck it up. like Black Sabbath? Yeah. That was like a, that was like a, you know, pretty obvious one. <laughs> you got any good Aussie stories? Do I have any good ideas? Yeah. Yes, I do actually. Uh, for some fucking reason, in the 90s, you know, back in the good old days, I had that t shirt. <clears throat> when Pantera used to tour with Black Sabbath and the Oz Fest and the Mitzer, et cetera, et cetera, we would always be the right before band, before fucking. Osborne and whoever took the stage. Sometimes it was just Ozzy and his band. Sometimes it was Ozzy, his band, and fucking Black Sabbath. That's hard work. So let's give it up for Osborne. But for some fucking reason, both of us would catch what I called Ozzy Itis. And it was the most brutal lung infection, fucking sickness, fever, and Ozzy, man, more than once, Come on, fuck, would fuck break it. down the door to the dressing room. He'd be like, Phil, <laughs> what are we going to do, man? What are we going to do? And be like, <laughs> I don't fucking know, Ozzy. And then he 
disappeared and he came back with this. He came back with this fucking big ass wide cellophane bag full of various pills from like 1972. <laughs> He's like, alright, he's digging through all this shit and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> he's like, I think this will help, man. I think this is the one right here. I'd be like, oh, thanks, I really appreciate that, man. <laughs> so yeah, you know, we grew up he, he, uh, he tr- we really tried to get well, but that was like a brutal three week, I can't Fuck fucking it. breathe, man, I'll take a sickness, but on top of it, Ozzy was uh, hilarious, had a sense of humor about it, and that big cellophane <laughs> fucking bag. <laughs> I can't forget it, man. And we, but, you know, this makes me think Fuck about it, touring with fucking Black Sabbath and the great Ronnie James Dio. Yeah. Yeah. And this is why I say I fucking hate rock stars. Because when I see some asshole rock star walking around, strutting around like they're fucking, you know, they wrote a song or something, it's like, asshole, motherfuckers write songs in your bedroom. What makes you different? You cannot walk no. 10 feet in someone else's goddamn fucking shoes, come back down to earth, you fuckhead. Because I have met and I've hung out with Let Me Kill Mister. I know, like, Tony Iommi, Geezer Butler, you keep yeah. fucking going. I've known yeah, him. I've spent time with him. And you know what? They're the really? nicest, the most down to earth people I have yeah. ever fucking met. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's have a unanimous bird finger to rock stars. Yeah. If any motherfucker in a band ever like struts past you, like. Fuck it, fuck him! <laughs> Give me your old fucking bird finger oh, from a kid. Fuck those assholes, man. Fuck. Yeah. You gotta be real. Yeah. And it's so much easier to be a dick. <laughs> I understand. But it's fucking, you know, it takes effort to be nice to everybody. But you know what? It pays fucking I'm off to sit, listen, talk I'm with people. Right, I'm a dick. Be real as fuck with people. Because yeah. in today's world, the motherfuckers hide behind fake names and comment sections and fucking hey, etc. 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 I didn't pay $50 to see you. Yeah. 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 Yes. Face to fucking face. It's always a whole different fucking story. And to tell you the truth, most people I meet, and I meet like 99 point motherfucking 9 percent, are down to earth, cool, and fucking awesome, and I love them, and I love you, and thank you for me. And by the way, I'm drinking a fine cola right now. You get strong. No, no, I'm sorry. I ain't had a fucking drink since February. And I, you know, it's it's like I don't feel any fucking different except that you know, you know, you're not gonna wake up with the fucking hangover. That's a pretty good feeling. It's pretty how the fuck did you even like? I, it blows my mind sometimes when I think about like how fucking hard you partied and shit back then. How the fuck sometimes you could even get out there and fucking do it and like be coherent and like remember lyrics still? And I don't. Sold. How many times y'all see me? Yeah. 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 I have fucking passed out on it. Now that's another. Story. There was one Ozfest and I was so fucking wasted. I introduced, I think, like New Level and I started singing Walk and uh, I, I was like, God damn it, you know. And I look over to the side and Ozzy is cracking his fucking ass up. And then I'd introduce Walk and they started, I'd start singing New Level. 
it was a mess. I, I, don't, yeah. think I, I don't think I made it through the set that one night, but uh, you know, there might have been two. Did you ever sing lyrics that weren't yours? <laughs> <laughs> like you're doing Born to Be Wild? Like during when I did the first Super Joint, right, uh, I actually used Smith lyrics. The Smiths, I, did, I didn't know I had no lyrics. I wasn't even supposed to fucking sing Super Joy, man. I was like, <laughs> Me and Jimmy's guitar thing, you know, like fuck. So when we came down to doing the fucking demo, I was like, all right, goddamn it, I'll sing. And I had no lyrics, so I sang the Smiths. Yes. <laughs> but you love the Smiths. I do love the Smiths. I do. Phil's a huge fan of music. It's not just metal, man. Like, oh, no, no, no. no. You, you, it's vast. You've got to love them all kinds of music, man. That's right. It's good for the brain. It's good for the. Education. I'm a high school dropout, man. I did my homework on stage, and I'm from the school. No matter how tight the spandex were, I was from the school of GG fucking Allen. I saw Agnostic Front in 1985. Open up the overhead, and that changed the whole fucking game for me. It was like, man, I want to. See Gigi Allen live ever? Did you ever get that? Saw Gigi yes. on his last tour before you overdosed. So what was that? What was that like? Fat, naked, and terrible. Yes. As it should be though. Yeah, my buddy. Yeah. It was great. My buddy Chad always says if you see a Gigi Allen show and it lasted more than 20 minutes, the show sucked. Yeah, well, this one lasted pretty long until Mike Williams, my God, jumped up on stage. He got his head bashed in by the bass player, and he loved it. It was like, yes, a girl in the '60s seeing uh, the Beatles, and, Ooh, crying. And shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, it was uh, pretty all, you know. He had that giant clitoris, like you were talking about. Right, <laughs> <there's> <laughs> and nobody wanted to. Eat. Use that particular. Nobody wants to that. Yeah. Nobody, Nobody wants, wants to, to use that microphone. Well, yeah. I've seen, Phil, I've seen your hog in the vulgar videos, and he's. Woo! What? <laughs> he's packing. Oh, me? Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> Phil's big penis over the. I'm Sicilian. Love you. Love you. Look into it's these it's brown it's eyes and well, look, look into the other brown eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Deep and that is not debatable. It's not. My bloodlines run fucking deep. And I uh, did a DNA test in the and found out, you will, I've got ancestors all over the world. Guess what? It wouldn't change me. I wouldn't give a fuck. I'd be like, wow. Can we listen to Portal? Yeah, I'd be mean, like, on the death belt. Yes. Yes. Let's listen to fucking Morbid Angels first couple of records. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about that band that you're producing that we were listening, listening to. In the uh, I cannot wait. Yeah, new Orbeats are coming to the studio in August. And they're recording the new record. But I just mixed this band from Italy called SYK Sick. SYK. And it's not listening to this now. Give this. Talk about power. They are a female fronted band. And this chick is a beast. She is perhaps the best vocalist I've seen. And I've seen? No, you don't see a vocalist. The best vocalist I've heard in so long. And if you look her up on YouTube, Delilah Kairos. She is a genius. She can sing like Diamanda Galas. She can sing. She can sing like a prime Bjork or Sinead or Chris Cornell. She she's got it all, man. She's awesome. They're awesome. I can't wait for you fuckers to hear it. I'm putting that record out soon too. And Phil's got a, a really cool project that's coming out that we actually did like a little listening party for it. The Days of the Dead convention this weekend. And they're coming to Louisville too. Make sure to support them. They're fucking awesome though. The convention's going on in September. 
Uh, check them out, Days of the Dead dot net. But uh, we were listen, uh, uh, had a listening party for a little EP uh, Bill's working on. Y'all know Bill Mosley, one of the greatest actors in history. Bill's got a fucking EP coming out with the dude. Bill and Bill. It's it's actually really really good. It's actually Bill and Phil. Bill, Bill and Phil. You know, Bill. Beauty before cuteness. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, the short story on that is, uh, he'd been bugging me for like three years, Phil, emails, you know, because that's the only way to ever get in touch with me. I don't have one of those fucking distracting phone things that everyone fucks with constantly. Yes! I actually still read paperback books and stuff like that. He kept hitting me up. Phil, what, what, are, what are we gonna jam? What are we gonna jam? And I'm like, Jesus, man, I'm gonna beat you Christ off of fucking two by fours. Finally, I had a fucking goddamn uh, weekend or whatever, and I'm like, okay, William, come on down. I wanna ask So he shows up, and I guess we had not discussed who was gonna do what and how. And he throws a stack of lyrics at me about that thick. We got three days. I'm like, cool. We got lyrics. What can you play? He goes, bongos. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, um, so that means I have to play guitar and bass and everything fucking else, correct? There, William. So that's exactly what happened, and uh, it's it's a trippy record. I guess maybe one song could be heavy metal, two songs. There's a oh. uh, there's like a dreary ballad on there. But remember, this is Bill's expression. He wrote the he wrote all the lyrics. I just had to put them into song perspective. But, uh, uh, I guess for our guests, we had uh, Squizzy from Kick Parrot played bass yes. on one song and did some leads. Kevin Bond from Super Joy did some leads. Yeah. Uh, who am I missing here? Uh, Hank the Third. He didn't play again on that, but I love me some Shelton. God damn, I love Shelton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss him, I love him, and his career has done well. He he, he is a hard-working motherfucker, huh? Five hour sets, yeah. Jesus H. Christ, you ain't gonna get me. But I, you love me at forty-five minutes. I can change this. Fucking good night, fuck you, man. Where's my Perry? Uh, I miss drinking sometimes. But you know what? I'm gonna roll with this. I'm gonna roll with just some weed, man. I really am. Yeah. 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 I, I, you know, I got a birthday next week. I'll be yeah. turning. I'll be 21. I'll be. I'll be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Finally. Finally of age. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna smoke some grass. I think. Watch some boxing and then pop on an old black and white horror flick. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Complicated guy, I know. Yeah. Yeah. But you gotta thrive on the absurd. Please, <laughs> thrive on the absurd. You take yourself too seriously, you better go back, look in the mirror, and go, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. This sucks. Oh. God, I think I look in the mirror like, what, three times a month? You can always say it's terrible. You, you go, oh no. Oh no. How do you, I've been dressed the same for 30 years. <laughs> like, a, like a rebellious 15 year old kid that's pissed off. <laughs> I'm still. I'm just like that too. It's a big. These are like, my, my snake yeah. eggs are getting fucking tangled apart. Yeah. I'm sure there's on a Donnick kid in like 92. <laughs> Whatever. Those look like the shorts you wore in Donington in like 92. <laughs> they might be. <laughs> well, what are we doing, man? All the rest of them, you're beautiful. <laughs> Everybody's got their own beauty, goddammit. And that's one thing about people. You can't lump people into fucking groups. Oh, yeah. You can't. Everyone's 
one's individual. I'm a hard striver on that because everyone has this little thing about them that is fucking different. I adore the individual. And I know everybody's like kind of sitting there going, but fuck it, think about it. Are you exactly like somebody else? No! Do you want to fucking be a fucking exactly like somebody else? Because I guarantee goddamn to you, you don't want my knees and my lower back. I promise you that. You do not want that shit. You'd be like, whoa, 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 we'll take this shit back to you. This, you can have this shit. Feel your own pain. It I love sucks. You, bro. I love you too. God damn it. <laughs> Favorite comedian, really funny guy named Dave Hill.